Super Spelling Battle Bee is a multiplayer word game that I created in just three days, a little bit over 72 hours for a game jam. It's basically just a mix of Scrabble and Super Order Pets, so here's the devlog of me making it. Hey guys, I decided to do a new Game Jam devlog, so here it is. Uh, also, this time I'm starting late. It's Thursday today and I've only got like three full days until the due date on Monday morning. So, will I be able to make a game in three days for this jam? So blackboarding an idea I've had in my mind for a little while now. I want to make a letter auto battler game. This is going to be, a, this is basically going to be a mix of both Scrabble and Super Auto Pets. Uh, what I call it is an asynchronous multiplayer word battle game. How cool. Basically, you'll get these little these little letter pieces here, and with these you form a word in which you battle someone else's word, which is the multiplayer asynchronous part. Woo, how cool. And that's it. It'll be a simple game. It'll actually be my first multiplayer game, but yeah, it's gonna be asynchronous, so I think it won't be that hard. I, I think at least it won't be hard. Also, it needs to fit the theme, the jam theme of monsters. My solution to this is I'm just gonna turn the letters into little letter monsters, sort of like unknowns from Pokemon. Uh, I've just had this game idea in my head for a little while now, and I've just wanted to make it for a jam. So I chose this jam because I want to do it now, and uh, whoa, go Godot! I like Godot! <laughs> <laughs> so I started off by making a simple Scrabble piece and a board with some spawn positions and hopefully the letters will just spawn and move into the positions. That's not meant to happen. Okay, I fixed the spawn bug by changing the letters from a kinematic to an area 2D. Why does spawning a kinematic body in like this reset the positions of all the other kinematic body spawned in? Who knows? All I know is that it actually spawns in now. Look, neat. It spawns in and moves. Next, I gave them uh, random letter characters, attack and health values, basically making the letter pieces themselves. Uh, going back to the board, the board will have two areas, a bot area, which will be the shop slash enemy, and the top is where the player will make the words themselves. Uh, they'll need to be able to click on the letters and move them up to the top. So I added that. I added the ability to click on the letters. Look, and it even wags around a little bit when selected. How cool. Uh, and finally, I added the proper top row where the player can actually select the letters and move them around, move them up there, and they even swap with each other. Next, I added some buttons in, mainly a menu and a refresh button, and this refresh button will just do that. It will refresh the bottom board to get you new letters in so that you can properly form a word. Look, I formed a word bats. How cool. Uh, and then for the rest of the first day, I wasted it away trying to implement a drag feature. I wanted the player to be able to drag words around to better visualize them, but it was just way too buggy. I wished I was working with kinematic bodies, but I had to change the letters to area 2Ds to prevent the bug from before. Uh, and yeah, I just wasted the, re the rest of the first day trying to do this. I ended up just... I ended up just giving up because I need to focus on the actual rest of the game. But I'll come back to this drag feature and fix you later. Starting my second day off, I started by working on making a menu. Right now it's just a play button and a little guide. This guide's refresh button actually works and it makes a new proper three letter word here for every time you press it. This moves into my next thing, which is then I worked on making the proper word checking system. So, so you have to form the word on the top row, and when it's a valid word, look, I made the word Chinese. The battle button on the right lights up and you can battle. I need to actually add the battle system itself. Right now it just checks if the word is a proper word, you know, and this is done by checking some word JSON dictionary that I got online. There can be some weird ass words sometimes, but I trust that this JSON that that I found online can do the word checking for me. I then moved on to making some art for the letters. So I drew these little letter monsters here, which is basically just some eyes over the calf font. I threw them into the game with some basic random eye movement and I can feel it working. Look, look at all of these A's, look at them go. 
pretty neat. Lastly for this day, I added the enemy letters and actually made the battle system itself. So now you can actually play the game basically. You, you make a word up the top, like look at this word I made. Made, how cool. And boom, you battle. They sort of just fling themselves at each other. Uh, and this whole battle system is done by just some tweens. You know, it loops through the letters, just tweeting them to fling them at each other. If one gets a zero health, they get flinged off the board. How cool. The third and final day starts now. I started by adding some network capability. It uses Silent Wolf, which is a free Godone networking tool, and it works pretty well. So I've got two users for now, Toe and Ho, and an all users player, which is for my needs, for my programming needs, so I can easily pull random players for battle. Uh, the player name itself is actually the free letter word that you get in the menu, which you can actually just refresh, so you can <laughs> spam the servers with random words. So this free letter player name stores the latest word that someone went to battle with, with that player name basically. There's there's no continuity at all. Uh, but so look here, I made the word hamper this time. I battle and it will load either toe or ho for me to battle with. I don't remember whose word this is, but it was the word sour with these attacks and these health values. You can see the player data is just three arrays, a letter character array and one for both health and attack values. And this player data is what is saved to the player name that you get in the menu. And that's basically the networking for you. Next, I wanted to tackle the drag ability that I failed in day one. I want the player to be able to drag the letters instead of just clicking, okay? So now it will only move the letter if it's over an area 2D. Uh, you can't just move them and rearrange them around. It will just go back to the spot that it was originally in. It's still pretty buggy though. Uh, it will bug up sometimes and the letters will bunch up and it makes it impossible to play really. But it mostly works, so for this reason I actually added it in the settings page where you can turn drag mode on and off by default it's on click mode because that's just way less buggy and you can also see the settings menu that I made oh how cool and the SFX and music volume settings here I added some neat little sound effects and a shitty ass music track there's swooshes when they move little meat slaps and grunts when they hit each other in battle There's also little scenes if you win or lose now and such. Uh, and it's online right now, so if I get a new name, uh, come will do as the first username. Uh, and I now make a word, I got a T and an X, so I'm gonna try and make the word tax for whatever reason. Now I'll click battle, and you know what? This is the first actual word that'll be saved in the final online save. Holy moly, come. And if we look, look, come has been saved to the cloud. Holy moly. And to check if it actually works, we'll do a new run now. How about with the name Ass? And if I just skip to battle, you should see on the bot row will be come and the word will be taxed. It all works! Holy moly! My first networking asynchronous... My first asynchronous networking game. Can we get some fireworks and celebrations for that? Can we get a like on the video for that? Unfortunately though, that was the last day done and I was out of time. I shouldn't have spent all that time celebrating. Fortunately, I have a working game uh, that works, you know, the, the multiplayer works, the making words work. There are some problems though, such as there's no real balancing slash round system and there's no real progression and risk, but I, I had no real time. Uh, you simply make words to battle other people's words. It's a mix of Scrabble and Super Auto Pets. And for the name, Super Spelling Battle Bee. Uh, so I submitted S. SBB for short, a game that I made in three days for to, to the jam. Uh, and that's it. I'm not going to be continuing this game. It is done after this jam. I just wanted to make a multiplayer word game 
for a game jam. Uh, looking at this at post, I should have just done Ludum Dare, which in itself is a three day jam because I just made this in three days. But yeah, I haven't done a three day jam yet, and it was pretty hard. Uh, it, was, it was pretty fucking hard. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Have fun with your lives. Subscribe, like, give me a kiss. Bye bye.